That's right. It's fan effing tastic. What are we talking about? Andor. Maybe. The death of Star Wars. Arr. That's right. We're talking about Star Wars. Yar. And and whores. And door. The show that I'm doing 10 second reviews of that you can take a look at. No one's going to They're listen. amazing. Mm. Absolutely lovely. Yeah. But what we're really going to go into is why is no one watching Andor? Probably because it sucks. It doesn't, though. It's actually better than the book of boba fett but the book of boba fett is beating it it's crazy baby yoda disney star wars declared a dead brand dead disney star wars d-o-a dead now i guess what everyone's basing this off of is the ratings have finally been revealed by nielsen this is an article from bounding into comics and apparently some YouTuber guy named Valiant Renegade declared Disney Star Wars is a dead brand. Are you declaring it dead? Uh, I mean... I mean, it only can live off of the sales of Baby Yoda's for so long. Ba- mm, I think Baby Yoda has a couple of years left. Do you really? Ba- Baby Yoda, they had to literally insert him back into the Mandalorian. As they should. So that people wouldn't quit watching the show. The Baby Yodelin. Is what it should be renamed. They don't, they have no idea what they're doing with Baby Yoda. Do you think they have an arc for Baby Yoda? I don't give a shit. Just just more of him. Baby Yoda? More of him. All of it. All the time. Make Baby Yoda a twin fucking brother. Double Yoda him. (laughs) Double double down on Yoda. I don't care. I just need it. Need all of it. They can force choke each other. (laughs) That would be hot. As we get everybody real hard. Yeah. Nielsen released the ratings for the week of September 19th to the 25th and Netflix took the top two spots with Dahmer with 3.65 billion minutes Cobra Kai with 1.1 fuck yeah billion minutes that's crazy Cobra Kai still hitting like billions of minutes great it is great Dahmer though is like not freaking juggernaut freaking juggernaut people like murder they do in order to find Andor, one has to look at Nielsen's original ratings. The series has debuted with the three episodes when it was released on the 21st, clocked in at 624 million minutes. It was beat by Dahmer, Cobra Kai, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, Fate, The Winks Saga. What is a wink? And El Rey Vincente Fernandez. That's not even American. What is going on here? The, I mean, they might as well have been beat by the Great British Bake Off. That's crazy. That's not good. It's <laughs> not yeah. good at all. I I mean, I've never watched an episode of this, so... Well, what they're saying is that if you picked all of the three episodes and put them all together, that only about five million people watched Andor, which is atrocious. That's less than half of Rings of Power... And a third of House of the Dragon. Hot D. That's where it's at. That's the oh, marker. Yeah. That's, that's the bar you need to reach. I mean, Hot D is freaking... It's trash, but it's freaking killing it. I mean, Damon is hot. It's trash in the sense of, like, General Hospital, like, good, clean... Damon might be the most hot, unattractive person ever. Oh my god, his forehead is so big. He's not remotely physically attractive, but boy, do I want to fuck him. Well, a lot of people who watched the premiere of Andor said that the first couple of episodes were very boring and that episodes and the things don't start picking up till the third and even fourth episode. It is pretty brutal to get to that third episode. I like it. I uh, this is a is I think Andor is actually pretty good. It, it's in fact, it looks better than Obi-Wan. It looks better than the Mandalorian. Does it have lightsabers? No, not at all. Mm, yeah, I'm going to. Gonna There's pass. no space wizards, no nothing. In fact, they fir- they don't even fight the the empire first. They fight like space cops. That seems so pointless. Yeah, they, there's a lot of space brothels. You'd like those. 
I'm not sure that I would. Really? You don't how, like how much tits? I mean, not as much as you'd think, but plenty mm. of tentacle. Ten tentacles? Like tentacle penises? <laughs> Oh my gosh. So basically, if people watched all three episodes and two hours of content, it's a little more than that. It's more like three hours of content. They're they're really just not hitting the mark. So that means like this is the worst rated Disney thing. Like this is bad. Disney is not doing well. I mean, what do you expect? They picked Andor, a dude, spoiler alert, you know dies if you watched Rogue One. <laughs> So like why, what I don't understand is why everybody wants to do prequels. The problem with prequels is you're painted into a corner so you know that these characters, you know their fates. So who cares? What I want to see is what happens after. I want to see new things, new characters, new ideas, not this old BS. What is going on? I don't know because I don't want to watch it. Although, Not even a little bit. If J.J. Abrams was involved, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I think I'd be intrigued. Are you a Diego Luno guy? Luna? Uh, Diego Luna. He's like the poor man's Oscar Isaac. And I'm not... No, he's the poor man's... Uh, Pedro Pascal? Me? Yeah, Pedro Pascal. Uh, That's fair. Okay. Yeah. I'll, give, I'll give you that. I'm not I'm not opposed by it, but again, it's, it's a pointless thing because he's dead and... There's no lightsabers and no Baby Yoda. So why am I watching this? I will say, like, I think it's the best written. Sh like, there's no plot holes so far. Not like big ones. There's no there's I I'll say there are problems with the show. It's not it's not like a perfect show. It's not even like an amazing show, but it is good. It's tense. It has a good heist. If you're into that, the only problem is like Star Wars keeps relying on an awful lot of heists, right? There's a heist in Han Solo. There was a heist. Was there? What was there? A heist in? Uh, there's a heist in Boba Fett. He has to steal a ship back. You know, there's a heist that goes wrong, right? That's pretty much like the premise of every Star Wars show. Uh, that doesn't involve lightsabers. Mandalorian, does he have to steal anything? He steals a ship at some point, right? I think he does. Baby Yoda does stuff. Yeah, he steals things. That's cute. He steals, like, Yeah, but Baby Yoda's balls. cuter. Oh, okay. So as long as a cute person does it. That's fine. Well, Valiant Renegade says, uh, you're dead, Star Wars. Go home. Do you believe that? I'm not a huge fan of Star Wars, so maybe. Well, uh, what about you at home? Do you think that Star Wars is dead? Do you think it's a dead franchise? Is it DOA? Do you care anymore? A lot of people don't like Obi-Wan Kenobi. They don't like what happened there. They're definitely not tuning into Andor because nobody knows who the hell Andor is. I get it. I'm totally... I, I feel like what you're saying, especially when they say things like uh, Andor is a great scurrilous take on a Trumponian world. What? Where's Trump? What? What? Why are you connecting this to, like, everyday politics? I have no idea what you're talking about. All oh, this is very disturbing. But anyway, tell us what you think in the comments below. Let us know, are you watching Andor? Do you want us to continue? There's, like, 13 damn episodes and another whole season. So, it's filmed really well, and Tony Scott wrote it, so it's all right. Isn't I think it's Tony enjoyable. Scott dead? No. Like this is a different Scott's guy. Brother? Different guy. Different guy. I think it's a total. I think it's the guy who wrote the Born Ident Identity. Does it say Tony Scott? You're thinking of uh, somebody completely different. Tony Scott, really Scott's brother, the guy who did Top Gun. Top Gun. Mm, I don't know who. I don't know. No, to oh, to I'm sorry, Tony Gilroy. I'm sorry. You are correct. You are not completely. That's what I thought. Yes, <laughs> you're Oh, yeah. Like, subscribe, share. Let us know what you think below, or Noob Noob will do this um, quickly. Nothing. Absolutely nothing, because I'm tired. All right, well, like, subscribe, share. <laughs> we love it. But as for us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, we are on to the next one.